for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel because you all will have implants. Is that many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. Sometime in the next century, because computer chips are getting smaller and faster, and eventually the time will come when a child is implanted with a little chip back here and will learn to control the chip in the same way that you learn to control your bodily functions and your voice and your movements. So that uh, not only can you, my, right now my mind is telling my body to talk, and it's supplying my mouth with the words that I'm giving to you, and the mind could also learn to say to the chip, uh, Go to a certain web page, download some information, and, so, and supply it to the inside of my eyeball. You, you believe that you can act, you're going to be actually able to tell your mind through a chip to to provide you with information that you can then speak. So on this program, this would be great for me. You put a little chip in there, and if I didn't know something, I could say to the chip, would I have to say it out loud or just think it? Uh, either way. Either if I could way. just think yeah. it, give me an answer. Right now, we're loaded up with bionic stuff already. I'm wearing glasses. I have fillings in my teeth. This is a wristwatch. I'm wearing clothing, which allows me to adjust to the climate as I go outside. So it's obviously only a matter of time until convergence allows us to match the number one uh, to uh, a tool of the next century, and that would be the computer chip. I mean, okay, so the computer are tools, chip, glasses are tools. Sure, but all of these are external. The computer should be in you, and that's what frightens me. Well, See, it that... could be in you, or it could be wherever you wanted it to be. And it would allow you to make uh, telephone calls without having a cell phone, allow you to surf the web without having a monitor. Well, uh, show me how. Uh, so if I had a chip embedded in my, uh, uh, in my yeah. head, I could make a telephone call by you could just start talking. Call mom? Yeah. And mom would be, and I could and talk to her. And would just say, "Hello, mom." Uh, this and is... I wouldn't have a phone or anything. No. And so you'd have to have some body language so people would know what you were doing. <laughs> oh, you, Let's you say you you're standing crazy. at the American Airlines terminal. Yeah. And you're calling the advantage desk and saying, "I've missed my flight. Do you have any seats at 10 o'clock?" Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're standing there saying that, somebody's going to look at you like you're one of these crazy. But not if everybody had the chip, they'd all know what was going on. Well, but you would do, do this. Right. You oh, you go there with a little this phone. This means I'm not just talking to myself. I'm talking on the phone. This and then if you're so, if you're reading the web on the inside of your eyeballs, yeah, it would look rude to people. It would look like I'm staring straight through you, but I'm not staring straight through you. I'm looking at the Fox News web page, right? Mm -hmm. So how do I want people to know that? I would just go like this. You know, so you're going to have a direct, whole sign language thing. Like this this yeah. sounds so unbelievable. If but I'm downloading information. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. It could happen, right? Well, I, you see, my article is half serious and it's half satirical. I don't know which half is half, though, because things are converging so quickly, and computers I, but are already such an amazing right. tool. But we've checked it out a little further uh, than your article, and the uh, scientists tell us that it is absolutely true and absolutely possible for a human being to be have a chip embedded in their system and to have many, many things appear in their mind upon command. So you would say, uh, I need to know the name of the 18th president. Bing! Not only that, I meet you and I call up your credit report while we're talking. Smart chips are already inside the heads of 40,000 people in the United States, but those brain implants are only approved for medical use for now.